Hello everyone, if you're looking for a Dread build on Season 1 in order to push Nightmare Dungeons between 70 and 80, this Lightning Werewolf is quite tanky, very fun to play and got tons of damage. If it's not done already, don't forget to subscribe and thanks much for this. Starting with the skills, you want to play the Blood Hall, make sure to use this one and not the beer one because you'll be able to use it during this ultimate. Of course, this ultimate will also be turned into a werewolf skill. Then you have Hurricane for the buff and debuff, Cyclone Armor for the resistances, Storm Strike if you miss Spirit but we won't be too much using it and lastly of course Shred. For the gear you can first use this unique helm in order to enjoy the boost of damage and critical strike damage, otherwise if you want you can have a regular helm with some bonus armor on it. After you have the unique chest boosting werewolf skills and for the glove the fact that when you dash with shred it will deal damage to poison enemies. On your gloves you'll want critical strike chance, plus 4 to shred and if possible a bit of lucky hit. For the pants, damage reduction while in werewolf and some damage reduction too on it and if possible willpower. For the boots, willpower too, armor and the fact that hurricane will boost your shapeshifting skills. For the weapon, the fact that shred will do more damage based on your fortify amount and for the stats you want core skill damage, critical strike damage, willpower and also if possible damage to poison enemies. For the rings, first one, Grizzly Rage will now be a werewolf skill and this one will increase the duration of your Grizzly Rage. Of course, try to take 5 seconds if possible. For the stats, critical strike chance, a bit of lucky hit and damage. Lastly, for the amulet, Shred will do AoE damage when you land a critical hit with it. For the stats, willpower, damage reduction or increase damage too. To finish this part, I'll let you have a look at the stats at level 96. So that's basically a sum up of what I mentioned just before. For the gems, you want damage reduction while 45 and increased critical strike damage to vulnerable enemies. For the heart, first you have some damage reduction. After, you have the fact that you will pull enemies when you use your ultimate. And lastly, increased critical strike damage. For the boons, damage reduction from elites increase attack speed, extends the duration of your ultimate, healing on a critical lucky hit, and cooldown reduction for your ultimate. For the skill tree, you just want to put two points in storm strike, and then we'll get to shred with the fact that you'll have additional dashes. You also want three points in critical strike chance, and three points here for the core damage. After that, defensive setup with one point cyclone armor and increased damage reduction. The Blood Hall with increased attack speed and 3 points in the defensive passive. After, we have 3 points here for the vulnerable and 3 points here to either stun or increase lightning damage. You have Hurricane with the damage reduction, 1 point here, 1 point to poison enemies and 3 points to increase critical strike damage against poison enemies. You also have this passive here very interesting which will reduce the duration of CC effects and these points in order to help you when you're not in ultimate form in order to have fortify. Lastly, the ultimate increase attack speed. For the Paragon setup, first you'll get increased damage to close enemies and then increased damage in Werewolf. You'll get this passive which will grant you spirit on a critical strike. You can also get this and then we'll have this one increasing your damage after spending spirit. You reach the next passive, this one, which will increase the blue nodes, that's why it's interesting to have it here. And on your left you have this board, we won't be using this node, but we want this glyph in order to increase damage while fortified. At the top of it you have our next board, this one, increasing damage to vulnerable. And at the end of your paragon you can reach out for this node in order to increase damage while you have poison enemies. But before that you should go on the right in order to get this glyph increasing critical strike damage and we won't be using this node so just after that make sure to reach for this node. I'll show you two parts of gameplay, first one Nightmare Dungeon 71 and second one Nightmare Dungeon 77. You'll see that with plus 20 levels of monster it's quite easy to run the dungeon but just be careful that if you start having more than 30 level difference to engage with your ultimate on. 
Otherwise, simply dash on enemies and use your Blood Hall or Hurricane when they are available. I hope you liked this build and as usual, if you have any question on it, feel free to post in the comments, I'll be very happy to answer you.